This is uh, Martin Saunders. Good morning, Martin. Good morning. Hey, we're talking about Spelling Shed. Tell me a little bit about what Spelling Shed is. Okay, so Spelling Shed um, for a student is uh, a game that they play to practice their spelling. Um, it takes the list of words that the teachers have set for them and um, they go in and they play and what they can do is they choose, first of all, kind of how much support they feel they need. So, uh -huh. Problem with spe uh, spelling is some people can just do it. Right. And then maybe Not, me. Not me. I can't. Yeah, yeah, I can't <laughs> spell. Um, and some people kind of find that hard. And, and, you know, people don't like failing. Adults don't like failing. Children don't like failing. And right. so the children who are going to get two out of ten on the spelling test are going to be the ones who give up. And they're the ones who need to practice the most. So, so what grade levels does this uh, is this uh, designed for? This is, we've got a program which is first through fifth. Uh -huh. um, and it um, also has phonics. Uh, Are the words built in? Yep, so there's a, a full program that we've written which has 36 um, weeks in the, in the program per grade um, with a list of words for each. And that, we've gone through the, uh, the state standards and kind of mapped it all together. So um, we know that- You went you through the that, Texas state it. standards? You teaks, God bless you, God bless Florida you. Florida for... state standards, <laughs> um, all of it. So, um, but yeah, so we know that if you follow that, then um, you'll cover everything. Can a teacher also add their own words yeah, to they, it? Uh, yeah, absolutely. They can, uh, you can create your own list. And what um, often happens is you'll take a, um, follow, our, follow our program, the children will have an assignment for one of those um, those lists, uh -huh. but also maybe there'd be a list of words from book vocabulary or a list of words from a topic. So if you're doing volcanoes, you might have words related to right, volcanoes. Right. Um, sort of Magma, lava, yeah, you know, like Dr. Evil. Yes. That's <laughs> the best one. Um, and, um, and then, you know, so using that to pre-teach the vocabulary. So when you come to understand the concepts, the words don't get in the way. So let's see how it works real quick. Give us a, okay. give us a quick demo. So. Okay, so start with, uh, so this is the, what well, the student gets the choice um, of how much difficulty they, they feel they're ready for. Okay. The harder level to get more points and more honeypots. And honeypots uh, are an in-game currency so they can buy upgrades to their avatar. Okay. Um, but the points get them a position in, the, in their class league and it gets their class a position in the school league. So there's an incentive to get more points, but they don't have to if they're not ready. So how are the students' names entered? Are they linked to the, uh, the student information system or the teacher has to enter them? Or how, do, how does that work? Either we've got uh, integration with Clever. Um, we're working on ClassLink. Um, so that should come in a few weeks when we, when we get that finished. Um, okay. Or you can, you don't have to put actual real names. So if there's a privacy issue, um, you can just type in a, a fake name. And as so long as you know who they are and they know who they are, you know, doesn't really matter, right. just an identifier. So, Sally 1, Sally 2, yeah, Sally yeah, 3, okay. That's it. So, um, yeah, so they put all that in. Um, they do have to have their individual logins. Um, if you do it the kind of, the, the, the old fashioned way and have the- you know, So maybe they in. could use their ID numbers instead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's it. And um, what our system produces then is a little slip um, with, a, with a QR code that I'm gonna right, as a little scan code. Um, and that gives them a username okay. and a password and, that you can scan. So if you're in kindergarten and you can't remember your email address, you can just do um, a QR code scan. I can't imagine a kindergartner not being able to remember uh, their... These, uh, these days. Like, what's wrong with these kids? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so it just makes it easy that they can just have it in a, like a bookmark, um, open, the, open the app, scan the QR code straight in, and then they get just get their content without any sort of messing around. Okay, so let's take a look. Okay, so easy. Easy. Fiction. So see, that's the word. So they see it, right. they hear it. Right. They've got as much time as they like as they need to to kind of go through the letters, segment it, do what they need to do. Then, at the easiest level, it's just a, an unscramble. Right. So. F I C. You got it wrong there. You got to do it right there. Uh, I O N. I think you got it right. Fiction. Yes. Fiction. Then, as they get to Paddle. harder level, uh, medium, they just don't see the word hard they get some extra letters and then extreme i'll show you that extreme is just um, oh. a keyboard so there's no support they've got to know it at this point but they get four times the points so this is like the big money right so if they're like yeah they've got to the point where they're fairly confident and they start being competitive they're trying to get that top um top status on their assignment or they're trying to beat the friend you know this is what they're on and what happens certainly if they're on a chromebook or a, or a desktop it's they're, they're kind of racing to type it in so their typing speed gets faster. Their is the is the interface the same no matter the grade level? So the sixth, the fifth yeah, grade interface the, looks like the kindergarten interface. Is yeah, that... the only difference is uh, the phonics list. So if you're pre K through to about second grade, you're doing phonics. Um, you've got an option to use uh, phonics spelling, and what that looks like is this. So you have uh, rather than single letters, you have whole graphemes right. and. 
Um, You're a popular guy getting oh, all these calls. Buzzing like that. Um, <laughs> and so what they have to do, what was the word? Amaze. Amaze is A. Ah. A. Is that right? Maybe it isn't. I'm not sure. Let's try again. A. a. And yeah, so it lets yeah. the children kind of build up, use the phonic knowledge to build up, uh, build up the words, and gives them a nice sort of easy step. And then from, we check it to yeah. see if we're right. And we and you are. Uh, that is yeah. two in a row. You've got two in a row, Martin. <laughs> I'm, I'm really impressed. <laughs> You're smarter than a fifth grader. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> so does the teacher? Can the teacher see the list of words ahead of time? She can yeah, see. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, okay. So there's uh, in the teacher hub. There's uh, a page for each word list. So um, and there's also. In our um, program, there's uh, there are lesson plans and activities which use those word lists, so they're all kind of consistent, and you know you can sort of print off the um, the activity sheet and have a look. Um, the other way that our product works is there's a kind of a choice that a school can make where you know if they really want to push spelling, then we've got lesson plans, we've got activities, they can use the app in the in school, or they cannot if they right. don't, if they don't have time for that. Um, you know, I know some districts say, well, you can't do you can't teach spelling, but we need to improve it. <laughs> which I don't know how that's going to happen but so but what no, they do is they, they, that, the, there's some logic there they keep like the yeah, spell well, there's a lot to fit in that's, that's <laughs> okay. great but that's what and that's what our product does as well is once it's set up and you've got the um, the program assigned to the, to the students they can sign in at home they can play at home then you know it's a good idea to give rewards in class and show that you, you know the teachers and the school cares about their their results right but it doesn't actually have to take any classroom time so what kind of pricing do you have on these it's like one million dollars for a bit less than that for, uh, at the moment for we've student got a kind of introductory <laughs> flat rate which is show the price. less than one billion dollars for up to 36 students which is kind of one class or like homeschool um uh -huh. is 42 dollars per year for a uh, whole school unlimited everything at the moment it's $210 wow, per year nice. that is going to change it around Easter to $2 per student but that's still cheaper still, than any kind of similar price is that for a calendar year or for a school year? Uh, calendar year calendar year yeah right, it just okay. rolls on it it's uh, auto renewing as well so anybody who gets the flat rate their price won't increase when we change our price okay. rate and if somebody's interested in a spelling shed yep. how do they get a hold of you? Um, all kinds of ways uh, we've got a website which is spellingshed.com um, or we're on Twitter Facebook Instagram TikTok. hashtag spelling shed yeah, or spelling at, spelling shed. Shed. at spelling shed spelling shed or yeah that, that'll find us and uh, yeah message us on any of those or send us an email and okay. uh, pick that up all right Martin thank you for talking to us this morning right. say hi to El Paso yeah. hi El Paso <laughs>